Hi friends, welcome to OPA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 29 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about join function in PySpark. Especially, we will be focusing on inner join, left join, right join, and full join. So, this join function is similar to SQL join. So, I believe everyone knows basics of SQL. So, everyone knows join also. So, join will help you to join the data from two different tables. So, let's assume here you have a table called employee where you have employee ID and employee name and you have department ID. And you have another table called departments in which you have department ID and department name. So, now here employee ID 1 with some name and he has a department id 1 let's assume so this department id 1 in the department table has a details like this like a hr department so we can join these two tables based on this condition and then get the data combined data from both the tables so that's what join will do i will practically explain you that so if you don't know what is join in sql i will encourage you to first get an idea about joins in SQL then watch this video and also in the PySpark playlist all the videos are in sequence order so please watch them in the same order to get most out of it now let's jump into one example and explain you this join so let me go to browser here I have opened my Databricks workspace and if I go to workspace under users let me try to create a new notebook here so let me right click here create notebook so let me name my notebook as join notebook and python is a default language this is my cluster let's hit create button to create the notebook let me close this dialog and now here let me try to create a data frame with some hard coded values you know that how to do it using create data frame function if you have watched my previous videos if not as i said please watch them so now let me copy this code from here to here and let me paste it here. So I already uh, prepared some code for creating two data frames here. Instead of typing them, I am pasting it for the interest of the time. And here let me hit shift enter to execute this code and see what is happening here. If you see there is a variable called data1 and there is a variable called schema1. This holds a data from first data frame creation like let's say employee data frame we have employee id name salary and let's say department id so that's why i gave in the schema also in the same fashion again we have another data frame we have id and name this actually indicates the department information like department table you can assume if and then i am using a create data frame function to create data frame by use by passing these two datas and schemas here and for the employee data frame i am naming empdf for the department data frame i am naming depdf finally i am showing both the data frames here now if you see here the output let this is employee data frame we have three employees and if you see employee id 1 2 3 has a department ids of 2 1 and 4 respectively and the department data frame has department's information for employee ID 1, 2 and 3. If you closely observe, there is one mismatching condition between both these tables. So this row has matching information in the department table because department ID 2 is a HR department here. Similarly, uh, this row also has matching information in the department table. Department ID 1 has information in the department table. But this row does not have matching information. Department ID 4 is missing here. Okay. Similarly, if you see department ID 3 is there in the department tables, but this there is no employee under department ID 3 in the department in the employee table. Okay. So there is one mismatching row in the employee table and one mismatching row in the department table as well. So keep this idea right now, like how the data is. Now let's try to implement giants and see how it behaves. So we have both the data frames ready. And now 
and using employee data frame i am joining it with department data frame now you might be wondering how you how i should i know i have to pass my data frame name here and next what i should pass so all that information is very easy always i encourage you to use a help function on top of whatever the function you want to use to see the documentation of it let me hit shift enter to execute it and if you see the documentation here it says you can read through this there are totally three parameters uh, if you are mainly so if you see the other data frame with which you want to join that you have to supply and also what is the condition on which you want to apply the join you have to mention it and then you, you have to mention what kind of join it is so here if you scroll down you can directly see the example there is a data frame called df joining it with a df2 data frame and it is getting joined and based on the name column from both the data frames this is like a condition and then what kind of join it is whether it is a inner join outer join left join right join i will explain what they are in just a bit if you don't supply anything it's like a inner join let me practically show you this so now here using employee id i am joining so inner join means all the matching rows it will get so this row it, it will give you because department id2 has a matching information in the another data frame as well this row also will come because department id1 also has a matching information but this row will not come why because department id4 don't have any matching condition and when it comes to department table these two rows will come because this row has a matching information but this row will not come why because it doesn't has any matching so all the matching rows will come in the inner join let me show you that to the join function i am supplying like on the department data frame perform the join and the condition is from the employee data frame take this department column right take this department column and match it with that means equals to equals to on the from the department data frame take this id column and match because that is a matching column between both the data frames so let me write the department data frame id column okay and then what kind of join it's a inner join okay so this value you have seen in the documentation also so what value to supply for what kind of join so finally this entire thing will generate one data frame so on top of it let's use a show function to display that data frame let me hit shift enter and if you closely observe the results now command is running now if you closely observe see employee data frame has three department data frame has three but now if you see the joined data frame has only two rows employee id1 and 2 why because as i said only matching rows from both the data frames will come okay now what if if it is a uh, left join maybe so let me do one thing let me keep this here itself let me copy this what left join will do is left join will give all the matching rows like inner join plus from the left data frame it will give non matching rows as well that means from both these data frames all the matching will come that means similar to inner join like what you are seeing here and it will give you missing information from the left to table or left to data frame so in this case whatever the data frame we use here it will become a left data frame and whatever the data frame we are using here it will become a right data frame so let me hit shift enter and show you the result now if you closely observe i got like similar to inner join i got all this information and i also got a missing information from the left data frame but when it comes columns of the right data frame it gives null null so it makes sense right so it is giving you missing row from the left data frame and since it is a missing in the right data frame so there it will give you null values okay so this is a left right join will work exactly opposite it will give you all the matching rows plus missing row from the right table that means from the department table this row also will come when this row will come all these columns which are coming from the employee table will give you nulls let me show you that so let me go to my code again and here let's try to use a right join okay and now let me hit shift enter now if you closely observe the results you will see all the matching rows see here all the matching rows and also missing row from the right data frame 
along with nulls for the columns of the left data frame. And finally, when you use a full join, it will give you all the matched rows plus non matching from both the tables or both the data frames. That means left data frame and right data frame. Same way, the nulls will come in the missing columns. So, let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and command is running here. And now, if you see all the matching rows, it came and a non matching row from the right and a non matching row from the left also will come. So, this is how left join, inner join, right join, and full joins will work. I hope you got an idea. There are a couple of other joins as well, like left anti join, self join, left semi join. We will discuss that in our next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.